what's up YouTube, this is Lollibo, and you're watching a special edition Men of War Shoutcast. Here my buddy Tycho Selchu and I are doing a joint shoutcast, or a dual screen shoutcast, with me playing on the right and him playing on the left. We thought it'd be pretty pretty novel and pretty cool. You can um, see what, what we see individually, instead of just seeing one player's point of view. It's a more holistic view of the battlefield, and additionally, um, it adds a interesting strategic elements it's like going from 2D to 3D now you can compare our micro our camera angles what we decide to focus on what we see and what we don't see and um, it's just a little experiment to see how you guys like it if you guys like it please um, leave comments so we know to do more and if you don't like it you can throw dead animals at us or whatnot but you can see he set up an ambush I can't see his units I can see he's capturing the flag but he's um, I can't see the specific position of his infantry um, but now I did. I walked in this ambush. I threw a distraction smoke, um, and it was um, a victory for me because of numbers. He had a couple guys, and I had an entire squad. Um, it looks like we both did the same same infantry thing at the beginning. We split them up. We bought a squad and split them up. We took um, the majority of a squad and moved in one place and moved a couple guys in another place. And that's a strategy to kind of hedge your bets so we don't put all your eggs in one basket so you can go for multiple points at once um, and I think that's a good strategy, a, a very strong opening tactic to use uh, so now I'm trying to he's fortified the left or he's capping the left church and I'm capping his right so there's kind of symmetry going on with um, each of us trying to decap the other person's side um, I'm throwing grenades where I think he is I can't see where he is but he saw my grenade being thrown he quickly got out of the way that's kind of like a um, um, uh, infantry mini mini engagement each of us microing a couple of infantry guys and it looks not so hot for me on the left um, all my infantry got killed and on the right I'm still sneaking up on the point when I say right and left it's from my point of view I'm a little biased because um, it's how I played but just switch it up when you're when thinking about Tycho Cell true. now I know there's a guy somewhere on the right control point because I'm not decapping it and I have a unit in the point. So I'm guessing where his infantry is. I threw it in bushes, basically where I would hide. And voila, there's people there. Now the point is all mine. And on the left, I'm trying to overwhelm him with, um, I didn't see any AT. So I'm bringing up a diamond armored car. I really like those things actually. They're small, they're fast. They have an okay gun. It's not that great, but um, could be worse and they're fairly cheap. So um, they're one of my favorite armored cars, probably. Um, in terms of cost effectiveness and I'm sending a couple infantry dudes in armored car that's a very um, common strategy I like to use I like to make like an infantry assault force with uh, armored cars or a tank and infantry because the infantry watch out for the tank or they watch out for the vehicle and the vehicle watches out for the infantry it's like a mutual, mutually supportive relationship so I, I still don't see any AT so now I'm moving up the armored car going around the church on um, the flank uh, Tycho Seltru doesn't seem to be focusing on the church so far or he, he just bought a Puma now he's trying to kill my armored car but his infantry are gonna die now um, he just saw my armored car when it fires and now it's gonna be like a game or I don't know if Puma exists yet so I'm just backing up behind the church just to be safe um, and I'm trying to reposition my armored car so it's not too predictable so he doesn't know where I am so I'm backing him up and getting him out of there and putting him somewhere else. But his Puma caught me riding dirty, uh, fired a shot, and now I lost my own car. An yet another mini engagement between me, my, my units, and Tycho's units, which are relatively similar units. Um, and now I busted out an AT Jeep. These are actually one of my favorite units because they're pretty cheap, they're small, and they have both an anti-tank and anti-infantry capabilities. I missed my shirt first shot. The six pounder I found hasn't isn't very accurate. When I hit, it doesn't do much because the Puma actually has pretty decent armor. Um, it's definitely no not tank armor. Wow, did I just kill someone? It looks like it went through and killed a crew, but didn't damage the Puma. It's a very small round. Sometimes it happens when the you fire an AT or an AP round and the diameter of it's too small. And it's too small of a round. Sometimes it doesn't um, just harm anything. He fired a shot and it didn't killed my crew but didn't disable the um didn't disable um the vehicle anyway 
and now I bought an, a an AT rifle just on as a, di a supplementary anti tank. Now I don't know where the hell his Puma is. He should know where I am. I don't know why he's not advancing. Oh, there's his Puma. Main gun destroyed. Now the Puma is pretty much useless, or it's it's defenseless against my AT. So I drive up my Jeep to kill it, but his whole mountain or his turret mounted machine gun just shredded up my Jeep. That thing's actually no joke, especially in close quarters, because uh, Germans use 8mm Mausers or rifle ammunition. That's pretty. It's a fairly thick round. Currently, the U.S. military uses 5.56 NATO in their um, in their rifles, and 8mm Mauser is a heck of a lot bigger. So it's a pretty strong rifle round. And um, I didn't play that the best. I should have got told my guys to get out immediately, but I didn't. So Tycho was able to walk right up to them and, and cap them and steal my Jeep. But there's no point in stealing my Jeep because its engine's broken and it can't move, and it's facing his direction, not mine. So I can just walk right up to the Jeep and bust a cap in his ass. And he realized that, so we got out of the Jeep, but it was too late. And now I got a free Puma. Time to repair that baby. It's always worth it to repair someone because you don't have a whole lot to lose, and you can get a free tank to send around flank or the or even charge right at them to throw them off. I mean, it costs you nothing. Why not? Except for um, tank crew, which are the cheapest unit in the game. So now I'm trying to capture the middle again. Um, I think I have the numbers. No. Um. I think I have the numbers advantage in the middle, but he has a skill advantage. I think I'm fighting paratroopers in the middle, and those are a very strong infantry. They're one of the, um, they, they, they're very good at infantry fighting because they, they have FG-42s, and, um, they're all have three skill bars for their weapon, uh, weapon skills, so they're very accurate and powerful. Uh, so, I bought stormtroopers, uh, Stormtroopers are fantastic for capping territory, and against Luftwaffe, they can hold up really well because they have body armor, which protects them from small arms fire and even grenade fragments. So, um, but Stormtroopers, which are like heavy assault infantry. Now, it looks like he's, he's recap, he's, um, has a good hold on the left. I've tried to get it for a while, and I still haven't been able to. But hopefully with my assault infantry, and my tank crew repairing my free vehicles, I would I could be able to get over hand. I'm repositioning the Dodge. Like I said, the Dodge is a really nice vehicle, especially for its cost. It has a six pounder and has a Vickers. The Vickers was an interesting machine gun. Actually, it was it was water cooled, unlike a lot of the air cooled machine guns we have now. So it was heavy as hell. Water is not light. Um, it's certainly heavier than air. So a fully loaded Vickers was like what 50 pounds.